My name is Christian Hernandez, your GitOps kingpin over at Acuity, the enterprise Argo company created by the founders of the Argo project. In this video, I'm going to be going over the top five things you can do with the Acuity platform to supercharge your GitOps implementation. Let's get to the list. Coming in at number five is Acuity Platform's agent-based design. Typically, Argo CD needs privileged information about your environment in order to connect to those managed clusters. Acuity Platform's agent-based design allows Acuity to host the control plane and UI components while the controller and repo components run on the managed clusters. This makes for a more distributed, scalable, and secure design. Acuity doesn't need to know things like repo credentials or secrets. Those stay in your environment. Now let's take a simple example. Here, I've installed Argo CD upstream. The open source version of Argo CD stores connection information in a secret. Argo CD here is connected to two clusters denoted as demo one and demo two. Argo CD stores this connection information in two secrets, one for each cluster it's connected to. If I take a look at the secret, I can see information about the server endpoint, but more notably, the configuration of how to connect to this cluster. In this instance, I can see information like TLS client information, like CA a certificate data. Now, if a bad actor were to have access to my Argo CD cluster, it will not only have access to the Kubernetes cluster Argo CD is running on, but also access to other clusters that Argo CD is connected to. Now let's contrast that to Acuity's platform. Here in Acuity's platform, I've already connected uh, two clusters here, demo three and demo four. Now going back here, I see that in the demo three, I am running um, the Acuity agent, and it's only storing secrets about this particular cluster. Looking at demo four, it's the same thing. I only have information about that cluster that it's running on. And this is possible because the Acuity agent. The Acuity agent isolates each cluster within itself. So that way, no one cluster knows about the other cluster and no secret data is available for each of those clusters. Next up at number four, custom styles. Custom styles allows you to modify Argo City's web UI interface. This is especially useful for your end users so they know which instances they are looking at and it reduces the cognitive load and chances of misclicks or misconfigurations. This way, you can differentiate between different Argo CD instances just by looking at them. Acuity Platform makes this easy to set up. Under Settings, you can go under Custom Styles and choose from one of the pre-built styles. For example, I'm going to choose Lavender. You can further refine these changes by clicking on individual components. For instance, the sidebar, I can set that color. And also the page wrapper, for example. I can set that color as well. I can even upload a custom logo. Once I have my settings set, I click on save. Once that's saved, I can go to my Argo CD UI and see my changes propagated. Coming in at number three is the config management plugin wizard. Config management plugins allow you to use other config management tools besides Helm and Customize. In order to do that, you go under Settings, Git Manifest Generation, and click on Add New Plugin. Here, you can use the plugin name, image, and specify your init, generate, and discover commands. You can also use one of our predefined plugins. For example, I want to use Helm file here. I click on Install and click on Save. Once I've done that, I can go under the Argo CD UI and deploy a new application. 
that has a help file in it. Rounding at number two, extensions. The Acuity platform allows you to extend the functionality of open source Argo CD by the way of extensions. You can get to these by going under settings, extensions, and here you'll see a list of extensions available to you. The two most popular extensions are the Acuity audit log and the Acuity sync history. Let's see how this looks like in practice. Go into your Argo CD UI, pick an application, and click on the summary. Here you'll see two new tabs, audit logs and sync history. Audit logs gives you information about who did what and at what time. Typically, this can, information can be found by digging through the logs, but here at Acuity, we bring this information up to you so you can see it in the UI. The sync history provides sync information history about who did what and at what time. And also, this information is available in the aggregated view on the Acuity platform. And coming in at number one is declarative deployments. So far, we've been using Acuity's UI to set up and manage Argo CD. You can also set up and manage Argo CD declaratively. Using Argo CD declarative management, I can say that I want this Argo CD instance to be called declarative Argo CD, give it a description, any specifications that I want, like any extensions that I want to set up, and which version I want to run. Also, I can do things like declaratively set Argo CD's config map with any customizations that I want. For in this instance, I have a GitHub SSO setup. You can also set up Argo CD secret, which is the client secret for my SSO. And any SSO configuration isn't complete without RBAC. And I can also set up RBAC declaratively. With this, I can use the Acuity CLI to install and manage Argo CD. First, I can list the instances that I have. And then I can apply any configuration I want to the Acuity platform. Once applied, I can list my instances again and see that my installation is progressing. And there you have it, the top five things you can do with the Acuity platform to supercharge your GitOps implementation. We invite you to try these out yourself for free by going to acuity.io slash signed up. Thank you.